Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel. This is your weekly love and general collective tarot reading session for you Taurus. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good, okay? This reading for today, it is for you. This is your weekly love and general collective reading for the Taurus sign. Before I start, Taurus, I would like to thank you for coming back. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for tuning in. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the subscribe button and the bell, please do it now if you're interested and if you are keen. And if you would like to further support my channel, Taurus, I invite you to please also subscribe in our mailing list or newsletter. We send out new moon, full moon, astrology update, and bonus reading. So if you want to receive the link, uh please do join our newsletter mailing list all right this is for you taurus let's see what's coming towards in love relationship dating getting to know what is the message for you in a general collective reading career and finance what can i get for taurus please this is a very big week for us taurus because we've got the new moon in aquarius and then at the same day february 1 it is also the chinese new year or the lunar new year and then we've got also, finally, Mercury retrograde is finished, I think, on the second or the third. And then Venus is out of retrograde, retrograde since Saturday. So everything is going to move forward, I feel, my opinion, in February. We are all in forward motion, okay? So let's see what's coming towards you in the intuitive energy in Tarot. You've got the Emperor card. You've got the Eight of Swords. You've got the Nine of Wands. Okay. Um, I feel like your situation, Taurus, is about control. Okay. You're dealing with someone or somebody who is the Emperor. Like they create the rule. They want to rule. They feel someone, someone, this person. Could be you, but I don't think this is you. Someone is ruling over you. Someone feels like they need to, they need to dominate you or their, their, their rule needs to proceed. You know, um, it could be a situation at home, um, in the workplace, or you could be dealing with this person who it seems to be you've been saying yes. And yes, like you're a yes person to this emperor. Um, for some of you guys, you're quite tired dealing with this person. You're quite exhausted and drained. Giving your yes or submitting your yes or submitting always, you know, a yes to. Like you're tired of being a yes person or you're tired of following instruction or being ruled over by this emperor, okay? I feel like Nine of Wands, you're finding your voice, Taurus, to speak out, to speak up, and to stand up for this emperor, okay? I feel like there's a person who I'd say they see you as second, like they are the, like this person feels like they are the priority, um, this person feels like um, an emperor, like they're VIP. And um, it's just this, it's, 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 it's more of, there's, there's a part of their character or maybe sometimes it's seasonal. The role, the role that they play in your life right now, it's like the emperor. Uh, you know, they, they dominate, maybe they're the manager or something like that. But you, nine of wands, you're getting tired. You know, you're you're going to use your bull, you know, to push forward. If this is a competition, if this is a, um, I'm getting like power control, you know, like, you know, um, power play between two person. It's about me. No, it's about me. Because Eight of Swords, you're tired competing. This person is like, it's it's my way or highway. All right? So you, you've got this competitive nature in here. There's also an element that they never want to give way. Exactly. There's a person who doesn't want to give way. Yeah. And you're tired dealing with them. Nine of Wands, this is you. You're tired. Yeah. Um, in the current energy, Seven of Swords, 
I feel like you are getting to a point where you need to put boundary. Um, I feel like you, Taurus, you've been so kind or lenient or complacent or something to do. You've been flexible towards this person. Like, you understand their moodiness, their mood swing. You understand them being grumpy. Uh, you understand and supportive of them being authoritative, domineering, um, always about them. And they never really um, appreciate how supportive you are. You are. <laughs> how supportive you are. Um, this person never really, you know, look at you as an equal. You know, there's a there's something with this person that they wouldn't be able to there's something that you do in the connection in the relationship or there's something that you do together collaboratively and whether you give 10 or 20 percent your 10 or 20 percent still make make up the hundred percent so the success of their company or this person's life is also connected to you so i don't know i feel like you're not being appreciated in here or there's a part of you where you're not being recognized. Nine of Wands. Like, why is it always about you? You don't recognize. Like, you're not being... You don't get a shout out, you know, maybe at work, maybe at home. That's why you are somehow Seven of Wands. You're quite limited. Like, you're... you're you know, if someone does not appreciate you or someone always see you as a second hand or below or some sort of resources or com if someone is not being personal because this emperor it feels like they're so impersonal you know they don't know, they don't even know how to say thank you for some of you guys like less appreciation and i feel like you you've been so understanding and giving and flexible all you know that this person has an attitude and you never say anything like you just keep quiet but it seems to be that's changing taurus because seven of wands you're looking into putting a boundary, putting a limit on their attitude. You're looking into, you know, you feel like sometimes, you know, this is the emperor. The emperor, you want them to be a king of cups. You want them to be empathetic. You want them to be kind. You want them to be considerate. You want them to look at you as an equal. Look at you as someone who has supported them, loved them. And you want this person to appreciate you, you know? So... You want this person to grow a heart because <laughs> they're the emperor. You want them to, to be the king of cups. Um, I feel like you, Taurus, you're going to move forward into an energy where Ace of Swords, I need to do something to shake this up, you know. Um, I feel like you are beginning to pull yourself together. I feel like you're going to pull yourself together with an Ace of Swords moment where enough. You cannot proceed over me. You cannot just push me back. You cannot just call or text me anytime you want. I cannot be available for you, Ace of Swords. You're going to create a boundary. You know, like you give, you're going to give this person an Ace of Swords moment where, sorry, I have to say no. I have to set boundary. I have to speak. I have to keep repeatedly saying to you a no so you understand that I'm not 24 by 7 grocery that is available for you. I am your person. I am not your runner or I'm not some, you know, thing or resources that would just say yes to you. You know, you've been a yes person for someone, for somebody. You know, sometimes if we, you know, sometimes if, if we're so in love with somebody or if we love someone, right, maybe we, we tend to lose our power. We tend to lose ourselves in the process of falling in love. Or, you know, sometimes we spoil people that we love so much. Or sometimes when we love so much what we do, for example, we like our work. We overwork. We give so much that we tend to forget ourselves. That, you know, every time we give so much, we lose a part of ourselves. So in here... You have given so much to this emperor and you never got anything back from them. And they didn't even say thank you to you, appreciated you. 
you feel empty although you feel like you've given a lot like i've given a lot and how come i don't feel like my my the thing that i give it's being justified or being valued you know like you in this reading hidden energy lover's card you feel like i'm not validated you know because if you're being accepted appreciated and validated this is what you're supposed to feel you feel love but you don't feel love you know it's time for you and i think i don't need to tell it to you because you're transforming already into an ace of swords you know you're gonna pull yourself together you know and hey you don't appreciate me you don't notice me you don't say thank you to me i'm not being loved you know someone is taking you for granted because of too much availability or too kind or maybe you have not really been so upfront to this person but i feel like in this reading you've been undervalued by a work situation or underappreciated or you're not being looked after by the people by the person that you prioritize prioritize or you you look after too like okay i look after you but they don't look after you so who takes care of you when you are nine of wands when you're tired you know you don't get a support with people who you look after like you look after the world and nobody looks after you ace of cups that's not fair right so you taurus i'm seeing you hangman in reverse you're going to release that attitude you're going to release that energy of being so submissive being a yes person you're gonna pull yourself together ace of swords and stand up for wait a minute time to put a limit on this it's time to wake up the emperor it's time to challenge the emperor okay let us see five of swords yeah you are going to outsmart the emperor in here um there's gonna be a situation a moment where you will finally have a word you will finally have a moment with the emperor yeah look at that the empress card this is the emperor this is the empress so i see you taurus you finally will uncover a way to get your hands to this emperor because when i clarify the ace of swords you become the empress so you you know sometimes we have to go through the downwards in order to go up you you went down but when you went up you became the empress you will figure out something to allow this emperor to fall in love with you because in here look at that the emperor and the empress you are a match there is a situation a moment in time where you will figure things out and you will be able to charm this emperor and if in the past you are the yes person this emperor will be under your spell and you don't even have to do anything you just become beautiful you just become an empress okay so gracefully but there's something winning that you can do for yourself and that's being an empress you know don't forget that being graceful beautiful but fierce is the best um best way to win hearts win people okay it's not overly giving in here obviously you overgive. no you've got to put boundary as you know you have to say no gracefully diplomatically and attract like an empress you'll figure things out i feel like soon you'll figure things out and this emperor they will submit to you they will fall for the empress so what a nice reading and um this is your reading thank you taurus it's a pleasure doing the reading to you guys i'll see you very soon you have a great day bye bye